happy Sunday. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. We are on our way to church today. Are you guys going to church? Let me know. Comment down below to let me know if you are going to church today. So today, guys, we're going to do our little encouragement scripture. Actually, it's not. Well, one is. I'm going to do two today. How about that? We're going to do two. One is a scripture and the other one is not. But I like it. I thought it was super cute. So actually, it's kind of like a question. And if you guys don't mind, put it in the comments and let me know. <laughs> okay, so the first one says, Our friend Allie, she enjoys reading her Bible in the sunniest room that she can find. Find your favorite spot and read your Bible today. If you can read your Bible besides church, besides a church, where would you read your Bible at? Like what part of your house would you read your Bible in? I usually always read my Bible in the living room. I don't know why. But I don't do it in the bedroom. I don't know. <laughs> I used to do it in the bedroom, but now I always find myself like the other night I was in the living room. So, and I have a Bible study video coming up soon, y'all. That's off the chain. <laughs> That's crazy. But anyway, the Bible scripture that I'm going to share with you guys today, it says, For his anger lasts only a moment but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. That's Psalms 30 and 5. I actually like the King James Version better. That's super popular. It says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. So, I hope you guys will find some joy in your pain and have a great day. I will see you guys after church. We are probably having pot roast dinner tonight. I just threw a pot roast in. I didn't show you guys today. I was running really, really late. I could not sleep. I was in a little pain. My back has been locking up on me this weekend, so not fun. But yeah, so we're going to do pot roast and mashed potatoes. I don't know what the vegetable is. I think I have some green beans. Not sure, but I'll show you guys when we get back. All right, so hopefully you guys have a great Sunday. I will see you guys later. Bye. something I have never ever done in my life y'all I officially became a garbage picker <laughs> so my neighbor is moving out next door right so um Jay has been helping him because he and Jay has been like super close and James too but like you know they cut the grass together he calls him junior He's like hey junior um I don't like when people call Jay junior but hey 24 now so I don't care but anyway <laughs> So yeah, it's just funny because, so I went over there to see how he fixed up the place. Y'all, he snapped on the place, okay? He literally hooked it up. So you know the lady, um, she's finna rent it out. She upped the price because 
Lexi has a friend who's interested in maybe checking it out. But now, she didn't up the price because he didn't really fix that place up. Well, anyway, when I went over there to see how, you know, he fixed and we were talking. And actually, you know, we were just talking about something I actually posted on one of my videos. Just talking about the different seasons in our life. And da 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 And anyway, I saw this mirror that he had hanging up, y'all. It was so cute. I said, where you get that mirror from, Joe? He was like, well, I got it from my mom a long time ago, blah, 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 blah. Baby, why he just throw that mirror away and he moved out already? And I was bagging out to go to work and I just happened to look over there and I'm like, is that seriously the mirror that we were just talking about? Like, dude, why didn't you give it to me? Why you throw it away? I don't think he knew I wanted it. I didn't really say, like, what you gonna do with it or nothing like that. Because I don't be like that. You know, I, I'm not like that. But anyway, I got the mirror, y'all. It is so cute. So when I get back home, I'm gonna show it to y'all because, yeah, I don't even know where I'm gonna put it at. I think I do know where I'm gonna put it at. But it's so huge. And it's so cute. Anyway, guys, I just came back from Southern Cafe. Because I wanted some split pea soup. And apparently, everybody used to do it on Wednesdays. Apparently not anymore. They had some lentil bean and some chicken and rice. But it was in a broth, not cream of chicken and rice. And I was like, I don't want that. So, my nephews and my nieces, my older ones, that's like my little brothers and sisters, they always keep talking about the catfish and, sh and grits. Fish and grits, whatever, from there. I've had it before and I was like, eh, I didn't like it. But they kept, every time we go there, that's what we get. We heard the same thing over and over and over. It's so good. It's so good. Y'all, why my stomach hurt? I got it. I freaking wasted $20 when all he wanted was a $5 bowl of soup. <laughs> Low I have rest. And now my stomach is like. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have got it. I got it before me and Jay. Actually, it's on his channel somewhere. Me and Jay went there, and I didn't like it then. But I thought maybe it was a bad day. Whatever, something. I'm going to try it again. Why did I do that? Because now I feel sick, and I got to go to work. Oops, I hit the radio by mistake. But yeah, so anyway. Yeah, fun day. <laughs> it looked good, but it was not good at all. Well, not to me. The fish was good. I killed the fish. I didn't eat the eggs. I just and I almost went to I've been wanting some Chinese. Why don't I go in my first mind? Like I hate when I do this. But anyway, how y'all doing today? I hope you guys are having a better day than me. It has been storming here like crazy. It's actually looking the sun is trying to come out right now, but it's actually looking a little cloudy. So we'll see what's happening. I was talking to one of my friends and it was like it's flooding outside. I'm like dang. But anyway. I will see you guys after work. I don't know what we're doing and I don't know what I'm having for dinner because my stomach is <sighs> right now. Yay me. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Okay, y'all, don't look at my nasty pantry, okay? <laughs> it's full disorganized. You can see it. And I'm still cleaning. And so here's the mirror. It is super cute. I love it. So, yeah, that's the mirror that I found. Isn't that cute? I just finished washing dishes, so I got to put those away over there, too. So don't look at that, okay? Don't look at my messy kitchen. <laughs> I'm still clean. But I forgot I didn't show y'all the mirror. So this is the mirror. Isn't it cute? So what I'm thinking is I'm going to replace this wall art. And y'all, Lord Jesus. This man, he don't never put the ironing board away, chair. Y'all see it on my Sunday videos. <laughs> so I'm thinking about I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna replace this art piece and put the mirror there. What do y'all think? I don't know where I'm gonna put this wall piece, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So yeah. I'm getting ready to start cooking dinner. I took out some chicken legs. And I think I'm going to make some. I got some potatoes that I need to use. So I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. I'm just going to peel those real quick. I might not even peel them, baby. I'm going to make the skin on it. And just cut them up real quick. Because I'm tired. I don't feel that great either. So that's what we have for dinner today. And yeah. I'll see y'all in the kitchen. <laughs>
I am hungry, <laughs> so I'm heating me up some leftovers. It was some leftover chicken and mashed potatoes, baby. It was so good. I know a lot of people have been doing this a lot lately, but I love cream of chicken or cream of mushroom or non cream of celery soup over your meats because they do make an easy gravy. And baby, it is fire. So I'm gonna sprinkle some pepper on it. I have my pumpkin spice mug. I got this from Dollar General last year. I think it's on one of my vlogs. You could probably see it. And y'all, I don't drink tea. I'm finna front. <laughs> I got some mini made uh, tropical punch. That's what I'm drinking. It look like tea. <laughs> Oops, I just spilled it trying to show y'all. Yeah, so that's what we getting ready to do. I'm just ready to eat this. I just heat it up in a microwave. Y'all, fire. Fire. I thought I was cooking um, chicken breast. I thought I took out chicken breast, but then it was chicken legs. Because remember I told y'all, um, James... We've been trying to cut down and not cook as much. So I only cut three pieces. And Jay haven't even been here really to eat. So it's mostly me and James. And they're so big. So, yeah. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to ready to sit down. <laughs> mm. But, yeah, that's what we're getting ready to do right now. Just chill. I have to work on some more YouTube stuff, so some more editing and all of that. So that's all I have planned for later today. Today is going to be a relaxing day. That's it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Ja. Okay. Oh wow. Oh sorry y'all. <laughs> My sister just sent me this video. And it's funny because let me show y'all. Okay. Okay, so she's telling him to prove that he loves her because she's over 300 pounds, right? So, he's picking her up. Y'all, it's crazy that she sent that because I was just um, watching YouTube earlier and I was reading the comments. It was this girl, I guess she does like athletic stuff, weight loss. She's super skinny, super fit, just like got the perfect body and all of that. So I was reading her comments and stuff because her channel has really grown a lot. So, you know, I was just reading her comments of one of the videos that she did. And there was so many girls in her comments talking about, oh, I'm so insecure. You have, you are like perfect. You have the perfect body. You're so pretty. And then another girl commented, and then, cause I guess she did something and she went to the gym and this guy took a picture of her while she was at the gym. I didn't finish watching the video because I got hungry. <laughs> I went in there and started fixing me something to eat. But I just been laying down, y'all. I told you today is my chill day. I'm laying down chilling. So, yeah. That was crazy because one girl commented on that video and she said 20, no, she said like 25% of the comments says, oh my gosh, you're so pretty and I'm insecure. And then she said 75% or 8% and 20% whatever, like 75% of the comments is saying how this guy took a picture of her at the gym. And it was just funny. It was like, what the heck? Like, why did you say that? But it was crazy because it was so many girls in there feeling so insecure and like, I'm overweight. Nobody would ever want me. And then I just get this video from my sister of this girl who is 300 and something pounds. And she's like, she was asking her man, like, do you love me? And he was like, of course I do. She said, you ain't going to leave me for the white, she said, white girls and skinny bees. <laughs> and... He was like, no. And she's like, well, prove it. Prove it that you love me. So he picked her 320-something pounds up and was showing her that he loved her. You know, we get so caught up in, oh, I got to look this way. I got to be this way and da-da-da-da-da. And there is somebody who, who's going to love you even if you're a 400-pound woman. You can find love. Like, don't think just because girls are skinny and they're so perfect or whatever that you can't find love because you're plus size. Baby, I'm plus size. I was plus size when I met James. 20 some years ago, I wasn't this big, but <laughs> I was, well, yeah, I, was, I guess it's considered plus size. I was like a 14, 16 when I met him. And then after I had Jay, baby, I blew up. <laughs> but stop thinking that like i hate when girls do that i mean sometimes i even look at myself now because i've been eating out all the time y'all know that's why i've been starting to try to eat some more salads and stuff and for dinner i'm going to have a salad <laughs> but um you know it's just sad that we just get so caught up in looking at other people in this magazine fit people and now instagram and youtube and you know, just love yourself, okay? Love yourself. And if you do feel like you're so overweight or something, you can always do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that just bothered me, those comments. I just was like, wow. Like, because she, the girl did a challenge. Like, and I said, I'm going to do it. And I'm plus size. And I don't even care. Because she's like athletic, whatever. It was an older video. And she did like, I guess somebody, they were doing challenges back in the day. Like, eating 24 hours of junk food and stuff to see how you feel or fast food places and stuff. And I was like, heck, I just looked at the challenge. I was like, oh, I wonder could 
I do that? Because I do eat McDonald's here and there. And then sometimes I go out to eat whatever or I come home and cook. But, you know, I'm like, y'all, girl, stop. Stop looking at social media to think that's this is the perfect life like no it's not you know what i'm sitting here doing right now i'm editing my videos that means i'm taking out all the crazy the messed up flaws that's what editing is that's what you see us do nobody's life is perfect they're not going to show you every little thing that they do that's not perfect because they want the views on their videos stop stop looking at snippets of people's life to say oh they're so perfect because they put on the front and pretend even in person. I know some people who pretend in person and they're not perfect. They're not perfect because I know them in real life and they're not perfect. But everybody just worships them. Oh, 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 oh. No, they're messy and a whole bunch of other stuff. We ain't going to go there. Stop doing that, y'all. Oh, that just bothered me. And then when I seen this, this was like confirmation, you know, like, I don't know. Anyway, guys. I didn't feel, I didn't mean to keep rambling on and on, but when she sent me that video, because uh, one day I was <laughs> doing one of my videos, somebody commented, was like, you're not watching anything. I was actually watching stuff. I, I mean, I just don't show y'all what I'm watching, but you know, yeah, or I was texting somebody that day, whatever. I'm not going to show you my text messages. Like, I'm not 20 years old. I don't have to prove nothing to y'all. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to um, finish catching up. I was just... Uh, Working on some video ideas for the fall, the rest of the fall. And, um, you know, you guys are looking forward to my Thanksgiving video, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do for this Thanksgiving video. But I'm working on that too as well. That's what I'm doing. And just chilling, editing today. Today is chill. I think my neighbors, my new neighbors are moving in right now. Yeah, do people still buy, like, neighbor gifts or something? Because the last, maybe next door, like, nobody stays there. I don't know. Like, people come and go until Joe. I miss him already. He moved in and he just became, like, part of the family. <laughs> like I said, he helped cut the grass over here. He helped me with my, I got weed problems so bad. And he come over and helped me. So, now I look like ladies moving in. So... Do you give gifts to people who moves in? Or is that the bougie suburban, the stupid fly? Why do I always have flies in my video? What the heck? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> do, is that like a bougie suburban kind of thing? Do you give your neighbors a gift? Do you guys introduce yourselves? I don't know. Y'all comment down below let me know, okay? And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. I love you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. I think I said that. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed, okay? I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Love you guys.